All right, guys, it's Coach Evan Macklin. I'm going to give you a behind-the-scenes look at my system on how I do my follow-up, on how I stay efficient, on how I over-deliver for my clients. I'm gonna give you some secrets that I've never shared before. If you're watching this video and you're a salesperson and you've been on the roller coaster of tremendous success, not dependable success, success, not dependable, it's been all over the place, I'm gonna show you how over the last 15 years, it's been very rare that I've had a bad month and I've been able to build a dependable business on a firm foundation. Watch this video, I guarantee you it's gonna change your life, let's go. Okay guys, so I'm gonna give you a simple process on how I've created dependable success and if you follow this process and this method, I'm gonna tell you, it's gonna give you clarity and if you have clarity and your mind's not chaotic and you're not trying to think about all these different things to do and all these different tools and automations and all this crap, a lot of the times people right now, there's so much technology, there's so many things going on, uh, there's so many tools that you can buy. I see all these people buying all these technology and these tools and all this stuff, and at the end of the day, their, their business never grows. As a salesperson, I never, like, never see them grow. They're always the same. They're always trying to automate themselves out of the work. So I'm just gonna show you how I do the work. I'm gonna show you how I stick to this system that's created millions of dollars in revenue. So what I do, the first thing that I do in my day is number one, I get to my high income earning activities. I want you to write that word down, high income earning activities. Not messing around on Instagram, not messing around with any of the bullshit that's not gonna create money, you know what that is. So what I would do is I would check on my hot list right away. My hot list, which I'm gonna show you right now, is a list of clients that are in the red zone. Call them my red zones. Red zones are people that are within the 20 yard line of scoring, okay? In football, there's something called the red zone. What the red zone is, is that means they're close to scoring a touchdown. I use that same terminology in my follow-up. So I have a list of people who I've done the work with, I've made offers to, I've, I've, I've been on calls with, and they just haven't scored yet. It's important for me to have a list of those people because if it's out of sight, it's out of mind. So although I do use a CRM, this is just gonna be a specific list that I can show you that, that is easy to keep up with. One of the things that, you know, when I'm running a sales team, I always like to know where my salespeople's hot lists are because then it'll help me be able to walk right in and call them. A lot of salespeople out there, they're dependent right now on Facebook Marketplace, Facebook Leads, SEO, businesses. They're so depending on their, their, their paid ad traffic. If you can get out and start networking and building your business off of your handshakes, your personality, talking to people, those are your hottest leads. So I'm a hunter. I've generated millions of dollars in revenue by hunting my own deals. 90% of the, the revenue that I produced in 2024 was my self-generated deals by getting out, shaking hands, and solving problems. The other list that I have is my proposal list. So I like to track how many proposals I'm getting out. There's, a, there's something called the law of averages. The more deals that you're getting out, it's just simple. The more deals are gonna close. So get as many proposals out as you possibly can. Like that is a competition my brother and I have where we're constantly trying to get as many proposals out as possible. The hey guys, it's the Macklin Twins, let's go. You can join our free training where you're gonna see thousands of one percenters just like you in our community training on personal development, sales, mindset, yes. and greatness. Yes. Join us, it's free. Click the link in the description, Elliot Training let's Academy. Go. We'll see you on the inside. Let's go baby, click the link. Fire. The more action, the more movement, the more money is gonna follow it, okay? I want you to write this down. Money follows movement. So I've got my self-generated client list, I've got my hot list, I've got my proposals, and then the last list that I'm gonna show you is my top 100 client list. So I have a top 100 client list, it's really important. And by the way, if you're on the other end of this and you're like, Evan, I only have 20 clients, I only have 10 clients, no big deal. Let me explain what the top 100 client list has on it. These are people that are fighting for you. These are people that are giving you referrals. These are people that you genuinely like to be around, okay? Think about it for a second. Think about your favorite client. Think about them. If you, you know that if you, would have, if you have a million of those guys, or, or not a million, even a hundred of them, a thousand of them, you'd be a gazillionaire by now, right? So we wanna get good at staying with those clients that we actually like to be around. And then we wanna get good at attracting more clients like that. 
And then when we get them, we want to put them in a system where it ensures that we do the follow up and the touch points where we're showing them that we are different than the competition. If you show those people that you really genuinely get along with that are really good people that you're better than the competition after they buy from you and you not only do a good job during the sale, but the follow back in the sale, the follow through in the sale is amazing. They're going to refer you a lot of business. So this whole strategy is really simple. You're going to have these four lists that you're going to work. You're going to constantly be touch. You're going to be constantly updating them and you're going to keep up with them. Now, this does not mean that you shouldn't do your CRM work. Not saying that I'm just saying this, this I'm a, I'm a very visual learner. This makes it very visual for me to be able to look at my customers and know exactly who I, who I have and what I need to do. So let's dive into the very first list real quick. Come along with me. So the very first list, okay, that I want to show you is, is going to be my hot list. So you see it says November hot list. And it has all the clients that I've talked to. And it says right here if I'm if they're a prospect, if they're pitching, if they're closed. Now this is just on a Google Sheet. And it's real simple. I just have in Google Sheets, it says customer opportunity right here. And when it says that, you can pick the different template that you want. So I just go over here, I have a template that I choose, and then for me it's really simple. Then I I can when I'm talking to my clients and I know that they're a hot customer. I can just put them right there and it makes it easy for me to see them. Very simple. If I were to ask you right now, where's your hot list? If I was your sales manager and I'd say, Hey, where's your hot? I want to call your top three clients right now that are really close to closing. Where's your red zone list? If you don't have that. Th that to me means they're out of sight. They're out of mind. So you're probably not doing the follow up. Here's the stats. The average salesperson follows up 1.4 times. Okay. Clients typically make their decision on the sixth to the ninth touch. So what that means for you is right now, if you're not following up six to nine times, you're getting the early adopters. You're getting the clients that just, they're, they're the lay down deals. They're the easier clients. Okay. The big money is made on that, getting that other scoop of the pie, right? You're just getting this part of the pie. Do you want the whole pie or do you want just a little bit of it? If you want the whole thing, it's going to take more touch points. It's going to take more creative follow up. So as we're talking about the hot list, some creative ideas that you can use to follow up are video follow up. Like, are you sending a video to each of these clients? Send them a video, send them a video of you in the business, fire it up, showing them how, how great life is to do business with you. Do you carry that like high frequency, good attitude that people want to be around? People want to buy from people that are having a good time. So send them a good video, get out of your comfort zone. If you're not used to sending video, it's just a matter of time. You send 50 videos, you're going to be great at it. Okay. A couple of other things that I've used to be creative on my hot list. If somebody for, for example, maybe isn't answering the phone. Here's some things that I've done to create some massive success. Okay. If I've got a dealer say that's interested in our sales training program and I've sent, you know, we've done the zoom call. I followed up with them. You know, they, they're showing interest. Um, now I take these guys to my proposal list and I've showed them what the, I've, I've told them what the price is. So here we got Morgan Riley. It's $32,000 for the year to train with us. Okay. So it's $2,000 a month plus their sign up fee. I got him on here. I know what I know when I look at it, what, what kind of money I have outstanding. So if Morgan doesn't answer and he's a dealer, how would I make myself look creative? Well, for me, it comes down to investing your own money, showing that you're actually different. So I've spent thousands of dollars on this and it actually gets the client very excited. So I'll send on a Friday morning, a Saturday morning. Typically that's when dealers are having, you know, lunch or, 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 or with their team, uh, you know, on like sale days, I'll reach out to a local Domino's pizza and I'll say, Hey, remove the, remove one piece of pizza from, from the pizza box. And I want you to write Andy Elliott's team is the missing slice and my cell phone number. And I'll close the person over the phone on doing that. And then I'll send the pizza out to them. Almost a hundred percent of the clients I've done that with always respond back, man, that's really good. Now I'm a sales trainer. So I want to look different to my clients and I want to show them that my follow-up is as good as they want their team to be. So I'm going to do some of those creative things. 
We have books. Andy Elliott has several different books that are out for release. He just released his Total Recreation book. If you want it, reach out to me. I'll send books out to him. Our Sales Warrior Playbook, I'll send books out to their staff, okay? You know, we bought a, a box of phones on Amazon and they're old flip phones. We bought them for like a couple hundred bucks and we bought a bunch of them. If somebody's ghosting me, we'll send some of those phones out to them and say, hey, your phone must be broken, bro, what's going on? Answer the phone, I just hit, we talked the other week, I got you a proposal, what, what the heck is going on? They always laugh and send me a text message or a picture of the phone back and they say, hey dude, that's creative. Get creative with these people. Send them video testimonials of clients that have been successful on your program. We train some of the top dealerships in the US, the best ones. I'll send them a video of a general manager who's killing it with us, right? So get creative. Send some articles maybe that pertain to your specific business or some reviews that you might have on Google where a client can see other people talking about your business and if they see that, they're more likely to buy when they're not hearing it just from a salesperson. So I've got my proposal list. The reason why I track my proposal list, I see so many salespeople that don't even know, like if I were to ask you right now, you know, how many people came into your dealership in the last two weeks um, that you made proposals to and they didn't buy? Most salespeople don't know the question, the answer to that. I'd say, hey, I got six of those people right here. You wanna help me call them? I grab one of my, uh, you know, all-star salespeople. I grab one of my all-star managers and I'd say it. You know, you're knocking on doors for a living and you're a door-to-door -door salesperson and you sit five clients over the last two weeks. But it's notorious in door-to-door -door that most people aren't doing the follow-up. They're just going for the one knock closes. Have your proposals organized so you can stay in front of those customers. Remember, out of sight, out of mind. This is how I became a pro when I started tracking these. It's so funny, I'll have some of my biggest days and even our sales team will be like, holy shit, dude, you just dropped big deal after big deal after big deal after big deal. How are you calling and closing some of these people like, like doing that? I'm like, dude, that's my pipeline. My pipe, like some of these deals might take two, three, four, five weeks, but I might even have three or four of them drop on the same day because that's because I'm doing the work. So if you ever go through a spurt in sales where you're slow and you're not making sales, probably over the last 60 or 90 days, you haven't done the work on this and got enough deals out where deals are coming back in. Yes, you want to be a closer and close as many deals right up front as possible, but not everybody's going to close up on the first time or two. So get as much action, get as many proposals as you possibly can have out. So you see, I have eight proposals sitting in the pipeline. I know my total on the amount of money. I know which two close this week. I got a couple that I've pitched. I've got a couple that I'm pros that I've prospected and pitched as well. So it's very simple. Now, to go to my next list. This is one of the most important lists that you possibly can have. This is truly where you create raving fans and referrals. Referrals are the key to growing in sales. If you go back through your last couple months and, and, and you were to actually track your deals, go back and look through them. Seriously, pull your pay sheets over the last couple months. If you notice that 50% of those clients aren't referrals, I'm just telling you, if you don't have a dependable referral source, as your revenue, you're doing it wrong. Here's how you do it right, okay? So I'll go to my top 100 client list. Now, my top 100 client list, like I said, these are people that, have, that are fighting for me, that are sending me referrals. These aren't the energy drainers, guys. These aren't the energy suckers. These aren't the people that always, that, that you talk to and you're like, oh my God. These aren't the guys that when I look at my phone, I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta answer this. No, these are the people that I genuinely like to do life with. Like these are clients that I've taken, like we've, we've gone to theme parks together. We've gone on ski trips together. They come to my masterminds. They've gone with me to Mexico because I've intentionally built those relationships also. It wasn't like we just ended up there. These are people that I, I'm constantly reaching out to and building relationships. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So take for example, Alex Turner. I put in the notes where I've met him, what we've done together, uh, what we could potentially do in the future. I've labeled him if he's one of my brotherhood clients. One of my brotherhood clients are my VIP clients. My goal is to promote all these clients to my VIP, but not all of them are ready. To get into the brotherhood, it's a six figure commitment a year. So not everybody can do that. But at one point, I wanna be able to help my clients all be able to make the money so they can get in there. But I put what I've done with this client, what they do in their business, all of the things that are, that are important to them. I put their family's names, their kids' names, Real simple stuff, so that way when I call them, I know exactly what to talk to them about. I follow up with these clients twice a month. Now, my follow-up isn't the conventional follow-up. I'm also a jokester. I'm also 
a guy that my clients, we have like a, a healthy camaraderie. We like to talk a lot of to each other, a lot of them. Um, I just attract higher energy guys that are, like to have a lot of fun. I get some of you guys might not be selling products like that where you're attracting people that are like this. So, but, but get transformational with your follow-up. I'm calling my guys, I'm sending them voice text messages, challenging them to get in, more, get in better shape, you know, send me their fitness program, send me a picture of them at the gym today. You know, I'm, 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 when they send it to me, I'm joking around with them, man. You don't look that pumped up. You were probably joking. You were probably messing around on your phone the whole time. We're going back and forth together. Like that's some of the follow-up that I do. It doesn't necessarily have to be, hey, Bob, uh, are you interested in another product? No, man. Jab, jab, punch. Follow up, follow up, and then offer another deal where they can go deeper in whatever program you have or whatever product that you're selling. Or maybe you're selling vehicles and you're like, you've been following up for a couple of months after they bought their car with you. You're talking about their friends, their family, you're just checking up on them. You see on Facebook, their kids going to Duke University. You're like, man, I got kids, that's so amazing. Your kids are going to Duke, I saw it on Facebook. Congratulations, Alex, so awesome, man. Give me a couple of tips about being a parent, about being a badass parent like you. Get you, your kids into a D1 school. Tell me about it, how'd you do it? Come on, dump it out. Like that's good follow-up. Get them talking about themselves. Okay, and then when they're talking about themselves, take notes so you can update your system so you know where they're at in their life. Make sure your touch, your, your touch points are with your top clients a couple times a month. It's not that difficult. And then when you see an opportunity or maybe a, pres a problem presents itself on one of those calls, Alex might say, you know, we're, we've been talking for the last couple months. He might say, Evan, you know, man, dude, you've helped me so much, you know, in building myself and building my mentality. I just hired two new salespeople, man. I'd love to see if you could help them out, man. Boom. There's a problem. Yeah, dude, Alex, I'd love to, man. How, like, let's, let's do this. Let's jump on a Zoom call. I'll take them to a proposal. We'll close the deal. Good. Let's go, man. But that never happens unless you stay in front of your clients and actually show them that you care. Show them that you care. Write that down. Actually, truly show your clients that you actually care what's going on in their life. Get them to talk about themselves. Make your follow-up not so transactional. Okay, so I've got my 100 clients. I, I'm building this list constantly. I'm also removing people. Like, I'm also demoting people. There can be some times where you might have a client that you have to fire because maybe they just become negative. Maybe they're just not a client that, that you, you, you enjoy being, you, you being around anymore. You know, maybe that relationship has just kind of worn off and, and they've gone their separate way. No big deal. You know, no big deal. Put them in your CRM, follow up with them over the next couple months. But these are the people that I constantly want to be around and touch, have those touch points with because I actually truly like, like to be around them and they're sending me people. They're fighting for me, so I'm fighting for them. Okay, super important that you keep that list updated. Now, another list that I like to keep. I love connecting people to make more money together. I have a client, Colton Croft, he's amazing at this. Uh, naturally, he's very good at putting people um, together when he senses a problem. He's like, he, he actually got me my CFO. So I was having some different issues with accounting and different things like that. I've, I've never been trained that way. Um, and so Colton realized that when we were talking about it and he connected me with a guy who now is my fractional CFO. That is such valuable information. I'm talking to you guys about it today. Colton keeps like a Rolodex of people in his mind that he knows if somebody needs somebody, he can connect these people together. The reason why you do that is if you can provide value to people outside of what you're selling them and they can make money together with somebody or build a relationship with somebody, every time they have a relationship and that relationship's op operating at a high level, who do you think they think about? You. So it's really important that you start to become one of these connectors. So what I do is I have a list of my top Rolodex. And in my top Rolodex, it's literally titled my top Rolodex. And I just put my people on here that do different work. I've got a photographer, I've got a life coach on here, I've got a fitness coach on here, I've got an accountant, I've got a freelance writer, I've got a baseball coach, I've got one of the podcasters, a, a, a podcaster that has a top eight podcast in the world. If somebody wants to podcast, I've got a guy that has one of the top YouTube channels in the country right here. I can connect him with. I've got an influencer on here who has a couple hundred thousand followers. Maybe I need some, or somebody in my network needs some branding advice. I can connect them with them. I've got a guy that says big time connector. 
there's always these big time connectors like Colton who are very good at this. I wasn't intentionally good at this. Now I make it my intention, even if they're not a client of mine, I make it my intention that if I find somebody who does something interesting, I put them on this list. And then that helps me be able to connect them to people in the future. So let's just go back through this real quick, okay? I've got my top 100 client, or I've got my hot list, my red zone list. You need to have that so you can hit your high income earning activities early. I've got my proposal list. They can go from the hot list right over to the proposal list once I've made my proposal. Very simple. Now, I've got my top 100 client list. I'm staying constantly engaged with these people. They're sending me referrals. Guys, this is it. This is the system that's gonna change your life if you just do the work, okay? So pause the video for a second, go on to Google Sheets, and create these lists right now, right now. The key to being intelligent is when you find something that you're not doing is actually taking it, implementing it in your game, and doing it right now. And then spend some time tonight updating these lists and watch how your life changes. Watch how your clarity changes. Watch how your energy changes because now you're, you're organized, okay? Then I got my Rolodex of clients, really simple. Now all of my stuff is in there. I feel like I'm organized and I'm winning. Okay, now the next part of this video, I don't sit at a desk like this and just say, hey, Tim, hey, what's going on? And I don't, I don't just work my computer like this. That's boring. I'm not gonna nerd out on this and just sit in front of a computer. I gotta be up and moving, guys. Influence follows energy. Like you gotta have some energy. You gotta, you gotta be in a, a state to influence other people. Even if I'm doing the most basic follow-up, I'm still standing up. I'm, my posture is still open. I'm still fired up. I'm, I'm making calls like I just got my wife's number on the very first day we met and I'm like, I'm like moving around and I'm excited. So just come see how I do that and see my computer set up up front. Remember, you're seeing exactly how I've been able to generate millions of dollars in income. Mi millions of dollars. Okay, this is no bullshit. This is no cap. This is exactly what I do every day to be one of the top coaches in the Elliott Group, one of the top car salesmen to ever do it in my industry. This is what I do. All right, follow me, check it out. Listen, what do we got? We got the music playing, the lights are on, everybody's jamming out. Our guys got good energy, they got good attitudes. You see how they're standing? See, see how he's moving? That's what I'm doing. Even on the most basic follow-up call, I'm not like this, I'm not like, oh, no, okay? So what I do is I have my list right here on my laptop. I've got my pen right here, I'm ready to take notes on any of the customers that I talk to. Now for me, since I'm doing phone sales, I have some non-negotiables that I have to hit every day on, on my high income earning activities. It's my goal to get at least five proposals out every single day. I know what that looks like, the compound effect of doing that over time, those deals are just gonna start to pop. Some of them are gonna close right away, but deals are gonna start to follow up and follow back and we're gonna close them. But I've got a notebook right here. I'm old school, guys. Look it, I've got a notebook right here and every day I come in here and I write. It's this, this was the sixth, yesterday was the sixth. Today's the seventh, 11-7. And everybody I talk to, I'm just putting on there because it's also my non-negotiable and you better have some non-negotiables to reach out to at least 30 prospects a day, minimum, that I've actually connected with, that I've actually got on the phone with, okay? So, my high income earning activities. Now, it's 8.30 in the morning. I'm not gonna be doing other bullshit. What I'm gonna be doing is hitting the phone on my red zones. Hey, what's going on? It's Evan, man. What's, how you doing, brother? Hey, good, we just talked yesterday. I know that you were interested in jumping on the sales training. Look, man, what, what's worth doing today isn't worth putting off for tomorrow. Like, let's do it right now. Look, in the last day or two, we could have already earned your $299 back that you would have invested to get in the program. Let's go, let's roll. I'm gonna hit my follow-up and I'm gonna close some deals. Most salespeople, what they do is they get into work, they go bull with everybody else, they're not intentional with their time, so what happens is, by the time 11 o'clock rolls around, they spent two hours in the breakfast circle eating breakfast, they're like tired and lazy, then they go to hit the phones, it's 10, 30, 11, or they're getting ready to see a customer pull up on the car lot, it's their very first customer, the very first person that they've talked to, they got no practice, they, got no, they didn't knock the dust or the rust off themselves, so they suck. 
I've already made calls. I've already gotten fired up. I've already done my follow-up. And now I'm ready for somebody to walk in the business and talk to them, right? I'm ready for somebody to call me one of my proposals. Hey, Evan, hey, we want to negotiate with you on that proposal. Dude, I'm ready to negotiate. Dude, I'm ready. Why? Because I've already talked to five or 10 of my people. So that's my simple process. That's my simple process on creating dependable income. Guys, I hope that helped you. Go back and watch this video a couple times. Send it to somebody who you know right now isn't producing at the level you know they're capable of because maybe their follow-up sucks. Maybe their follow-through sucks. Maybe their follow, follow back isn't, isn't good. Maybe they're, they're not good at creating dependable income because they just don't have the right system or maybe the system that they have is overly complicated. Mine is easy, it's dependable, and it's proven. Let's go win, let's go. All right guys, you're the true one percenters. You made it to the end of the video, let's go. Like, comment so we know who you are down below and then share this video to somebody else who needs it and also turn your notifications on because we got the fire coming every single day. Amazing, we'll see you at the next video. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go.